Yeah, to the next example for systematic treatment of um, equilibria is to calculate solubility of calcium sulfate. In this case, now uh, we we are going to consider activity coefficient. Okay, and uh, although the, the 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 problem is not very complicated, but you know sol solving process is uh, rather uh, complicated. So. Uh, you follow me uh, carefully okay um, so the first step is to write all the pertinent uh, equations all right calcium sulfate uh, is soluble in water but the solubility is not very big not very small okay here is the process okay first uh, let's write all the equations you now immediate uh, equation is the uh, equation for ksp Okay, the solid calcium sulfate is directly dissolves yeah, into calcium ion and sulfate ion. Okay, for this equation, uh, equilibrium constant is called uh, well, solubility product KSP is well known, is already known, equals 2.4 times 10 to minus 5. Okay, so this value is not very uh, high, but not very, uh, you know, not small. So calcium sulfate in water solution, uh, you know, shows uh, some uh, solubility. Okay, and since you know, calcium ion and sulfate ion, they are uh, you know, divalent ions. So, so, so this one, um, this uh, uh, calcium sulfate solid directly dissolves um, as aqueous, uh, you know, the species of calcium. Uh, this one sulfate. Okay, this is called ion pair. Okay, and the ion pair equilibrium constant is 5.0 times 10 to minus 3. Okay, it's, it's quite uh, high. Okay, so we cannot ignore this ion pair formation. And another is, uh, ex uh, equation equilibrium is the uh, hydrolysis of calcium ion here. Okay, it reacts with the water and give rise to calcium monohydroxide and proton. Okay. Let's say the equilibrium constant K okay, acid, okay, because it produces proton, okay, and then equilibrium constant for this reaction, fortunately, is known, which is 2.0 times 10 to minus 13. You see, this one is very small actually. Okay, anyway, it exists. Another uh, equilibrium is the hydrolysis of the sulfate ion. Okay. Sulfate ion react with uh, the water and give rise to hydrogen bisulfate, okay, and hydroxide ion. So this one acts as base, right? And the equilibrium constant K base is 9.8 times 10 to minus 13. This is also very very small, okay, very small. Anyway, it exists, okay. And as a default, you have to write you know, this one. This is water autoprotolysis, right? And KW is well known, okay? All right. So we uh, wrote one, two, three, four, five pertinent equations, okay? And then find out charge balance equation, okay? What are you know, cations? You know? Calcium ion and calcium monohydroxide and proton, yeah? They are uh, possibly charged species and here on the left side you write you know the uh, all the, uh, the some of the concentrations here calcium ion takes uh, plus two charges so you have to uh, you know the multiply by two okay and they are all uh, monovalent cations okay what about the anions okay here sulfate ion and hydroxide ion and also here hydrogen bisulfate uh, okay this one bisulfate ion okay here we also um, on the right hand of the equation uh, you write the ion concentrations okay like that and the important is to write the mass balance equation okay here we start from the first uh, the reaction here if reaction stops at this first stage 
calcium ion concentration must be the same as the sulfate ion concentration. But, but this calcium ion and sulfate ion undergoes uh, you know, further reactions, okay? So, which means that the, all these species containing calcium ions and the concentration is the, is the same as the all the species you know, containing sulfate ions, okay? Yeah. That's the mass balance equation. Here, hmm, let's identify which species uh, contains the calcium ion. Okay, first, uh, calcium ion itself here, and then calcium sulfate, you know, this ion pair, okay, this concentration, and another one is calcium monohydroxide here, okay. Some of these three uh, concentrations is also some of uh, the species containing uh, sulfate ions, okay? The sulfate ion itself here, and this one by sulfate okay, concentration, and finally this one, calcium sulfate here, okay? Of course, you can uh, simplify this mass balance equation, alright? And then, what else? There are no more, okay? And then now, count the number of unknowns and number of equations, okay? How many independent equations did we write? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, 7 equations, and there must be 7 unknown species. Okay, here, unknown species uh, you, you uh, identify. First one is calcium 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven. Okay, yeah. So there are seven unknowns and seven independent equations. So this problem is bound to be solved. But how? How to solve these seemingly very complicated uh, equations? Okay. Let's try to do that you know, step by step. Okay. So. Let's uh, write each equation, okay, using this activity coefficient for KSP. Okay, we use this activity coefficient for calcium ion and for sulfate ion. Okay, this one for the ion pair. This uh, this species is neutral, so uh, uh, activity coefficient must be one. Okay, and then for acid equilibrium constant. Okay, we also apply the, this one, this uh, activity coefficient for each species, all right? And likewise, for base equilibrium constant, we also apply uh, the activity coefficient for each uh, species. Likewise, for water, water dissociation, we also apply this um, activity coefficient, okay? So, uh, we have to uh, know the activity coefficient for these species, okay, except this uh, iron pair species, calcium sulfate, okay, other species have their own um, activity coefficient, okay, so the calculation must be very, very complicated, but let's follow the text, okay, here. To calculate activity coefficients, we have to know the ionic strength, okay? But we don't know ionic strength. How are we going to get around this problem, okay? To calculate equilibrium constant, yeah, we need ionic strength. And then we apply the by weaker theory or we can interpolate, okay, from the table, all right? But how do you know the ionic strength? So we have to uh, have some initial point, initial guess, okay? So, the first initial guess is to uh, neglect activity coefficient. We set you know, gamma uh, equals 1 from Ksp. We start from uh, this first one, from Ksp, okay, here. Ignoring the activity coefficient, we uh, very easily, uh, we can calculate the calcium and sulfate ion concentration, which is 4.9 times 10 to minus 3, okay? And then we calculate ionic uh, strength, this one, okay? Let's assume 
there are only two ions in solution okay ignoring proton and hydroxide ion concentrations okay using uh, this concentration uh, we get you know ion strength and then we get um, activity coefficient okay here and uh, use uh, this one okay use KSP mm -hmm. and then after we calculate uh, the this activity coefficient yeah, with uh, using um, ion strength and then we use again this expression for KSP okay this is all the time constant okay all the time is well is has uh, the same value and then we get new calcium concentration okay the first guess from first guess calcium concentration is 4.9 times 10 to minus 3 but using this activity coefficient since activity coefficients are less than 1 and then new calcium ion concentration must be higher than this value okay and then we get um, you know, another ion strength and then we calculate the activity coefficient again and then we repeat repeat this calculation that process is called iteration okay iteration and I think that iteration method was first developed by uh, Isaac Newton well but I'm not sure okay and repeat this process until we get constant calcium concentration and then we, we can stop okay so you see the uh, table okay and calculate other concentrations and then after you get this calcium ion concentration and then we get uh, uh, this one from here uh, we, we already got the calcium ion concentration and uh, this one is all the time constant okay here is the uh, this table shows the process okay this is a uh, first guess okay use uh, assuming the activity coefficients um, is one okay here one one and then calcium ion concentration is 0 0.0049 molar same as the uh, sulfate concentration and then Ion strength is about 0.02 okay molar and then using this ion strength and then we get calcium ion activity coefficient which is 0.628 for sulfate ion 0.606 and then we uh, we uh, calculate the new calcium ion concentration which is 0.0079 you know the, the same as the sulfate ion concentration and then ion strength you know increased to 0 0.032 molar and then using this ion ion strength then we calculate you know gamma value okay since ion strength increased the activity coefficient for calcium and sulfate also they are decreased okay and then we get new calcium concentration like that so we uh, repeat this process until this calcium ion concentration mm, remains constant okay after doing iteration five times and then calcium ion concentration reaches this this concentration 0 0.0092 and then another iteration okay six iteration also gives the same uh, value for calcium ion okay so we stop here mm, uh, on iteration six okay So, uh, but actually, you know, this uh, iteration method is working fine, but it is very, very, you know, cumbersome. Okay, it's a nuisance actually. So, uh, but we uh, at least okay one time we have to go through all these calculations. Yeah, that's the purpose of this example. But from now on, in most cases, we omit activity coefficient, otherwise specified. Okay. Whenever necessary, yeah, we will use activity coefficient, okay? But in most cases, don't worry about activity coefficient. We simply ignore, yeah, okay, activity coefficient. All right. So, since we calculated calcium ion concentration and simply we uh, 
we made an assumption that um, the sulfate ion concentration is the same as calcium ion concentration. All right. But now we have to check whether uh, this one, uh, this is good approximation. Okay. And also, uh, we simply assumed that the proton and hydroxide ion concentration is the same. They are the same. Okay. And using uh, this uh, equi uh, the, the, the equilibrium constant, okay, since we already assumed yeah, these um, two assumptions, made uh, these two assumptions, and then this calcium hydroxide, monohydroxide concentration, approximately given by this one, and then using proton and calcium ions, and then we get um, the concentration. 2.0 times 10 to minus 8. Wow, this is quite small. All right. And likewise, the bisulfate concentration can be calculated, okay, from the equilibrium constant, which is 9 times 10 to minus 8 molar. Okay. So, calcium hydroxide, monohydroxide, and bisulfate concentrations are negligible. Negligible with respect to what? Negligible with respect to calcium ion and sulfate ion. Okay, this is our initial assumption. Okay, and using this value, we calculated this calcium monohydroxide and bisulfate. They are order of 10 to minus 8, but this is order of 10 to minus 3. So there are at least hmm, five orders of magnitude difference. Yeah, All right. So this approximation uh, is working fine, okay? Yeah. So solubility. Hmm? So our purpose is to calculate the solubility of calcium sulfate here. You see, let's go back to the first one here. The solubility of calcium sulfate, okay? What is the solubility of calcium sulfate? Yeah. If reaction stops yeah, on this first one, and then calcium ion and sulfate ion concentrations uh, is the solubility but since uh, this one also dis uh, dissolves yeah, like this this one okay so solubility of this calcium ion uh, this calcium sulfate is the sum of what calcium ion and calcium sulfate ion of course you have to add calcium monohydroxide okay yeah but uh, this concentration is quite low, okay? At least order of five, yeah? Different, okay? So simply, uh, we um, calculate the solubility uh, like this one, okay? Instead of the sulfate ion, uh, we put the calcium ion concentration here. So the solubility of calcium sulfate is 0 0.0142 molar, all right? Uh, this is the answer. Okay. This is a long process. It's a, uh, it takes a long time. And in the uh, middle of the calculation, you may uh, make a mistake, but that's okay. You just appreciate how this uh, equilibrium uh, problem is being solved okay, by setting up the uh, pertinent reactions and also considering the activity coefficient okay this is a good example so uh, you appreciate okay this example